Hey, what's up guys? Twice here, back from my Set 15 Infinite Rebirth Sneak Preview. Got some very interesting pulls for you, and as you can see by that beautiful Monarch Century Alfred map, things went actually pretty well. So let me actually kind of hold up the camera here. And uh, yeah, you can look at that. Even Blaster Blade's in there. Sorry, that's my uh, iPad stand. And it looks great. The damage zone looks really cool. So they did a pretty good job with this one. Alfred himself, of course looks amazing. So um, some very interesting things that happened this draft. Uh, there was one of them that I was not involved in where three people got Glendios and three people got Monarch Sanctuary. So it was crazy. Um, I did only two drafts. Uh, I didn't actually win one. My friend um, had won one and he already had a Alfred mat. So he figured that he didn't need this one. So he said, hey, you want a mat? And I was like, yes. So yeah. Anyway, so let me go ahead and just move on to just some of the general polls that I got that I felt were necessary, mostly for me, um, but also for the team itself. So the first off, now the promo for this one was Gus Blaster, and uh, I got six of them because people didn't want them, so I took them. Plus, Odd, I know, really wants to build this deck, so I figured I might as well just help him out with that. Then as far as the Silverthorn deck is concerned, I pulled a machining uh, ladybug, the Quintet Wall, but someone really needed it, and they had a ton of Silverthorn commons. So I got uh, four Upright Lion, and then I got, uh, let me get him out here, uh, three Zelma. I could have gotten a fourth, but there was another kid there who was looking for Silverthorn stuff. So him and I kept asking people, hey, do you have Silverthorn things? Do you have this card, Zelma? And there were some people that uh, he got to first, and there were some people that I got to first. In the end, though, I did wind up getting you know, three of them, so I just need one more for the deck. And then I got the starter Emil because, you know, she's just a common. So, some pretty good stuff, you know, for the Silver Thorns. The deck will probably be finished by next week when I can actually get a hold of the other stuff that I need. But uh, let me go ahead and show you guys now some of the double rares that I pulled. Now, again, I only did two drafts, but uh, I pulled some pretty good things in each of them. So I got Freeze Ray in my first one. Um, he's really interesting. I, I don't really know anyone that's going to plan on either building or running this card in any actual competitive scene, but in the draft, he was actually pretty helpful. Um, I didn't get to use him, but I know that a friend of mine was, he was sitting right next to me, and the locking when you get damaged is such an interesting defensive skill that, I, I don't know, I, I wish that the game was a little bit different to where you didn't have to rely on running things like you know, Glendios in order to be competitive. That way, things like this could be used a little bit more, you know, a little bit more often. And I pulled Dragonic Burnout, uh, who is really cool. He looks really cool. And there was someone there who wanted this, um, who had Venus Lukier, but alas, um, someone got the other kid that was looking for the Silverthorn stuff got to him first. But, uh, you know, in the end, I still like the Burnout, and I'll put him in the Trade Minder so that we can give it to all of the Kagura players because... My shop is full of Kagura players. Now on to the triple rares. So the thing that I pulled in my second draft was actually this. Dragonic Overlord, the Break Ride form. I, I pulled this thing out of the out of the uh, the um, the packaging and I was like, oh yes, because that my friends is a $30 card and it looks so good. And in the first draft, I pulled an I'm not kidding you, an SP Dragonic Overlord the Rebirth. And I was ecstatic when I pulled it. Now, the thing is that, again, I pulled this one in the second draft. I didn't have the SP Rebirth on me because somebody made me a very good deal. My friends, may I show you my crown jewels? Two Silverthorn Dragon Empress Venus Luque. So I traded the SP Dragonic Overlord of the Birth for these guys. I know that the value is a little bit skewed, but frankly, I don't care about the Rebirth. I'm not building it, and JD's not here anymore to build it either. So I figured that I might as well just get this stuff for myself. And plus, I think the Rebirth SP is only like $40. She's like 16 so, you know, it's it's at least pretty close in value. So um, I may have missed out on a little bit there, but he didn't have anything else that I needed. So I was like, you know what? I already got my money's worth on this draft. I want my two Venus Lukiers. And I got my Venus Lukiers. And she looks so good. Now, as for the Dragonic Overlord, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with this thing yet. Uh, probably just going to, again, throw it in the trade binder because I do have that burnout to kind of sell along with it as a package. Uh, I may have actually sold this thing, but frankly, I, I don't want to go through that stuff with valuing and, 
you know, money trades are always kind of weird. So I'd much prefer to just stick them in the trade binder for now and see what happens. But yeah, so that's been uh, my, of course, Infinite Rebirth sneak preview polls. Very proud of these. I actually can't wait to make the deck because now I only need one more of her and then I need one more Zelma and the deck is done, which would be freaking awesome to have it done like the week of set 15. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know I certainly did. I had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and see you next time. So remember to always have a great day. Keep card fighting. Thank you for all your support to Team Zenith and goodbye.